Ausrüsten. Do you have a Walgreens card? Uh, I'm in my truck. Um, are you sure you want these because these expire? Expire? Um, no, pretty soon. What? On the 26th of this month. Let me see if I can find one that's got a Um, hi, my name is Louis. I'm 21 years old. Excuse me, 27. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I'm a responsible person who, who always sh shows up to work on time. I like to play basketball and watch basketball. I know how to get to and from places. I also enjoy watching football and playing football on my game system. But when it comes to basketball, I the Black Mamba, Kobe Bryant, is my man. But my disability is cerebral palsy. A cerebral palsy affects a lot of things, um, like muscle tone, speech, and my other disability is a medical disability, which is epilepsy. I grew up in and out of foster care and in and out of, and in and out of group homes which pretty much at that time, I had a hard time trusting people. Uh, let's say I'm interviewing a family and, and when I ask them a question, now this is the question I would ask them, do you want me in your house to make me feel like I'm part of the family or do you want me in your house just so you can look at me as a paycheck. But when I was in foster care, man, I had a hard time because whenever my DHS worker I would come to the house, everything would be okay but between me and the individual. Her nasty personality would go out the door. And then when my DHS worker left, and that nasty personality would come back into the door. But growing up for me was pretty tough. Um, my mother passed away when I was eight years old. Or oh, actually a baby. Um, my plan um, would be to go see my father. Let's just say he did something that not a lot of people may should be doing to their children. I'm just gonna tell you what he did to me. Uh, uh, throwing me outside at night um, in the snow and putting me in cold water. After that night, uh, I went to school the next morning and reported it. And since that time, I had to look out for me and my sister. Her name is Onelia. Her name is spelled O-N-E-L-I-A. She is one year older than me. And she's a single mother. And she has three kids. Not often. Where does she live? At this point, I have no idea. Got it. When was the last time that you guys talked? It's been a while. Unfortunately, when I, when I reconnected with my father, um, he told me that he got remarried and had a three newborns, which are boys. I mean, frustr I mean, it frustrates me to the point that he likes to bond with them, but he doesn't. I want to bond I was the first a son he's a, I was the first son or daughter he has ever had. Everyone is still trying to get him 
I took him up here, but um, unfortunately, um, he does want to come. He does not want to come up here, even though I told um, at the agency and the state employees men that the two of us I deserve to see each other. And even though I, um, they said I can go see him, he hasn't done his part yet. When something like that happens to you, um, and you start to think that is your fault and you don't want to be bothered by anyone. When you have a disability and you're working somewhere uh, your disability pretty much I can stop you from uh, doing the things you really, really, really want to do. But instead of focusing on the things that you can't do in the workplace, I focus on uh, on the things uh, you can do. I think he's really good at working on the floor. Um, he's really good with the outdate issues. Like if he sees a whole bunch of milk that's out of date or it's getting ready to go out of date, he knows to pull those and to be focused on top of that. So I'm Nicole, I represent CIS, which stands for Community Integrated Services. We are an organization that helps disabled people find jobs and keep their jobs. Um, I've been working with Lewis for almost two years now. He is great. He does a good job at Walgreens and he is improving with his skills here at work. You see this screen right here? Dealing with customers. Uh, for me, half of the time is not good because a lot because I sometimes I feel like when they're trying to intimidate me because I don't move as quick as as a typical teenager would. As long as I know that I'm doing my best and 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 my managers know. When I'm doing my job correctly, that's all that matters. Um, I met Lewis about six months ago when he first started coming to our meetings. My name's Audrey, I'm a junior at Penn and the president for Penn Best Buddies. So every morning and every night, Lewis will send a message that says, good morning, my good friends, and good evening, my good friends. I think that he thinks it's in a group chat with me and Alex, but his phone doesn't work that way. So then I always just say good morning and good evening back, and he usually says like, how are you doing? How was your day? I text um, my friends Audrey, Riley, and Alex a good morning and good evening. And when the weather is critical, um, I text them to make sure everyone gets home safely. Sometimes when he asks what I'm doing, I'm usually almost always doing homework or something and he'll those messages are really nice when he's like keep up the good work I'm proud of you like keep studying or something I think that he he has like an idea of how friendship should be um, that he like talks a lot about he's definitely very like methodical in his thinking and I think that he's hasn't had many friends that way and he's like trying to be how he would want a friend be to him it's nice to have friends who who like me for who I am. I just don't pay attention to what normally people would pay attention to, and that is my disability. I think because he has like certain expectations for everything, he like won't settle for less, which is like really important having like a life like he's had. Like he knows what he deserves and he knows like how he deserves to be treated and he doesn't settle for less. I just because I look different than them physically um, but we are all the same no matter what. I'm going to give you all an expression, every cloud has a silver lining, which means um, in life you're going to be facing tough challenges and the silver lining would be 
how are you gonna fix those challenges?